Hello everybody, welcome to Football Fancast. It's now time for Tweets of the Week. Let's open up the Twitter sphere and see what's going on inside. Jonas Gutierrez, the saviour of Newcastle United, lest we forget, tweeted this. Two things I learned from my illness, how you can support a player, brackets Newcastle United fans, and how you can leave a player alone, brackets Newcastle owner. Yes, of course, Gutierrez had uh, cancer not that long ago, and the Newcastle fans were fantastic, giving him a lot of messages of support and encouragement. The powers that be at the club didn't really cover themselves in glory, according to Mr. Gutierrez. And as a result, he's he's now um, leaving the football club. Shame, really, but at least he gave those fans uh, one marvellous moment to shout about on the last day of the season. Gavin Ramjuan tweeted this uh, a few days ago. Morning all, hashtag vote blatter. Smiley face with a wink and a tongue out, hashtag FIFA. Don't worry, I think he's been inside. Time Sport tweeting this about FIFA, obviously a few days ago now. Hollow victory for Blatter on another dark day for football. Yes, I think in England we're all against old Seppi B. But one thing that we have to say that is very, very impressive for FIFA is that flag arrangement on top of the ceiling. My goodness, impressive stuff. At least we know where most of the money goes. Barca stuff with this lovely picture um, from uh, the cup final the other day of Neymar, Suarez and Messi. See no evil, speak no evil, can do no evil. This is a very interesting tweet from Musa Okwonga. Messi, oddly enough, slightly underrated. Hear him out, hear him out. In that you expect him to do the unbelievable and then he redefines what unbelievable is. Very good point there from the always eloquent Musa. This from BBC Get Inspired is, is a lovely one. Great advice to apply to your life from ice hockey legend Wayne Gretzky. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Get on that! Spencer FC tweeting, yes boys, Real Oviedo are up. Yes, Real Oviedo being uh, promoted. Good news for many of you who have stakes and shares in Real Oviedo and an interest. The Spanish club has captured the hearts and minds of many English football fans of late, so well done to them. Indie Football tweeting uh, this article about Diego Costa. Apparently he's unhappy with the weather, language and food at Chelsea. Well, um, the weather, you can't really do much about it. Language, well, you can learn that. And the food, I'll defend uh, Chelsea's food. I've been to that stadium. I've been a wind and dine there. My goodness, the food is magnificent. Charlie tweeting a picture of the article which David De Gea said, well, we'll see what happens with my future. And as Charlie says, yep, probably will. That's how the future works. Daniel tweeting, Iguain is good, yeah, good observation, but I'm not sure he has the pace that I think Manchester United need. Mm, interesting stuff. I think Iguain would do pretty well wherever he goes. He scored quite a few goals this season. Would he have pace to play for Manchester United or even Arsenal? Would they require pace perhaps? They've got a lot of players around him that could do all the running. Somebody like Arsenal maybe just need a target man perhaps. Mm. But he was talking about Manchester United. I'm not sure Rooney and Iguain would fit too well together, not under Louis van Gaal's system. But, as David De Gea would say, we'll have to wait and see. Well, thank you very much for watching, everybody. They are the tweets of the week. Do tweet us at Football Fancast and go to the website footballfancast.com for more football articles and other such wonderful stuff. See you soon.